Hello everyone, my name is Minty and welcome to the first part of what I assume is just going to be a mini let's play of sorts. I don't expect this to be a very long let's play at all, but today I really just wanted to start this let's play. Something that I've been wanting to do for a while now is just have a kind of sit back and relax little let's play kind of in line with current household sort of videos. So, you know, just sit back, relax, and enjoy some Sims. Maybe grab some tea or some coffee and hang out with me for a little bit. That's kind of the goal and the aim for this series. You know, just something very cozy. We're just going for cozy. But as you can see, my Sim over here, her name is Shirley. She actually just reached knitting level four as well. So she can now knit rugs. So that is awesome. But Shirley over here is a Sim that I've kind of been playing with off screen just to play around with nifty knitting a little bit more but i think she is so adorable and i really just can't get over how cute she is that i wanted to be able to share her with you guys but she is currently a university student she is attending the university of brightchester she is in language and literature she's just taking one class right now although she is also taking extreme knitting as an elective which i feel like is sort of cheaty for her because her grandmother who is Gertie Watson and is actually the sim who raised Shirley since she was just a wee babe is a master knitter and you know Shirley she's she's a decent knitter you know she's kind of getting to that intermediate stage but I feel like it's a bit cheaty for her to be taking a knitting course as an elective to get some more credits but you know Surely this is kind of the first time. Oh, and she finished she finished another hanger. I think we're actually gonna list that one on Plopsy. She has a couple things. She's got two beanies that she made that she listed on Plopsy. I guess she was also starting another one of those, so go ahead, go for it. Shirley, make another planter. Let's get those on Plopsy. She does have two things, two beanies listed on Plopsy right now, but no one has really offered. But as you can see, Shirley lives in this apartment in Evergreen Harbor. It's her first time really being alone. You know, she's very close to her grandmother, Gertie. Her grandmother is basically her mom. This apartment was not built by me. I modified it to what I needed, but this adorable like student apartment was built by Simlissy. So I will link the information for that down below. I didn't build this apartment, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, that is exactly what I need. But surely she's just on her own. She's doing her own thing now. You know, taking a couple university classes, but mostly taking it easy. Shirley is very creative, of course. I think a lot of that comes from her grandmother teaching her how to knit, teaching her how to play piano and to do some painting. She's also a huge bookworm. Shirley has always kind of gotten herself just lost in stories and I think growing up she didn't necessarily Let's get her making some oh she can make some socks now let's make oh she already made some socks she made some pink raccoon socks let's make the gray raccoon socks you can add those to our collection as i was saying she is definitely someone who i feel like kind of didn't fit in that well growing up she was you know shy kind of to herself so a lot of her childhood and in high school and now probably a little bit in college as well has just kind of been getting herself lost in books and in characters and in worlds and i think her going to study language and literature has a lot to do with that as well that's just kind of her safe place that's where she feels cozy and of course shirley is a big cat lover this little fur ball over here is guinevere points big points if you get where that is from but little guinevere is shirley's life and love she loves this little cat with everything that she has and guinevere is truly shirley's best friend which i mean probably is a little bit sad to say but i don't think so i think that's sweet shirley is over here she's just been knitting away while i've been talking she made another one of those planters i'll list that i'll have her finish up what she's doing but shirley is a part of a knitting club 
which I think has a great name. But in her club, it's, I mean, she she's like the leader of the club, but it's really kind of everybody's club. But her grandmother is in it, and then they also hang out with Blossom and Eleanor. So I think maybe we might actually go over to her grandmother's house and maybe hang out with our knitting club because she doesn't have classes yet. The term actually hasn't started. She like just applied. So, I mean, she has homework to do. But she has tomorrow off. I think today is just gonna be maybe a knitting day. We also need to knit in a rocking chair and her grandmother does have a rocking chair at her house. So I think that will work out quite perfectly. I want Shirley to finish this Lady of the Knits aspiration. Maybe that will be the goal of this series just to get through all these items, kind of explore the knitting pack. I think that could be fun. A nice short little series, I think. But once she finishes up this project, I'm gonna have her go over to her grandmother. There we go. She actually just finished little raccoon socks. You know what? I'm gonna keep these for ourselves. So I'm gonna add those to our wardrobe. We're gonna head over to Shirley's grandmother's house. We can hang out there, maybe invite the club. Why is Guinevere just like trotting around over there? But we are gonna go over to Gertie's. We're gonna hang out with the Love to Knit Club, do some knitting, do some chatting and gossiping. And I think that, that will be very fun. Alright, well we are back. We are over here at Gertie's house. This is the house that Shirley actually grew up in. Her childhood bedroom, well kind of her teenage bedroom is still upstairs. But this is Gertie and this is, I'm gonna turn off this TV because it's kind of loud. This is Gertie and this is Shirley's grandmother. And of course we have plenty of stuff for Guinevere to come hang out here too. Gertie fully supports and spoils her grand kitty as well. I probably should have given Gertie a cat or two. I didn't even think about that. But we are gonna go ahead and call over the Love to Knit Club. Hopefully everyone will be able to come over and hang out for a little bit. You know what? We should light the fireplace too. You know, we want us to be real cozy, but Gertie lives over here in Grimm's Quarry. She has a nice little house where Shirley was raised. Now I did give them knit stuff, but I don't know if they will actually knit together. I have heard that knitting clubs don't quite work. I could be wrong. We'll find out if they'll actually knit anything, but we should go ahead and have Shirley work on a rug since she just learned how to knit rugs. I don't know if there's a way that we can call over Gertie and maybe have her come knit with us. I don't know, but there's Eleanor who is one of the members of our club. She came right over to hang out and even though I put knitting as one of their activities I'm not sure if they'll actually knit but that's okay. We mostly came over honestly to use our grandmother's rocking chair because that is part of our aspiration. Oh and there is Blossom. Blossom showed up as well. So this is our little group our little love to knit club. Guinevere is over here hanging out too. Oh Guinevere just got a naked- Oh! Guinevere does not like Eleanor though. But at least Gertie and Blossom are over here getting along. Looks like Eleanor came out to hang out with us. But yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone is actually knitting together. But that's okay, we can talk to Eleanor a little bit while she's out here. There we go. Shirley just reached knitting level five. It says Shirley is feeling confident in her skills and can now knit the ultimate gift, sweaters. Teach to knit is now available so that Shirley can pass along her knowledge to other sims. That's great. But yeah, it doesn't look like anyone else is knitting with us. So maybe having a knitting club is kind of broken, but that's okay because at least everyone can come over here, you know, hang out together every once in a while. Oh, Guinevere finish her food so fast. It is getting a little bit late so we'll at least try to finish the rug that we were working on. I also forgot to mention although Guinevere looks like she is playing inside the table with some yarn over here but this is Gertie's little sewing studio, some painting equipment too. She is definitely decked out with a beautiful crafting room. I am honestly quite jealous of Gertie's crafting room because I would love to have something like that. Looks like Shirley is just about done with this. Eleanor's coming out to hang out with us. I was trying to have them chat but 
doesn't seem like that's really working. No one else is knitting. I tried. They do all have knitting boxes, but it just seems like no one else wants to knit, but that's okay. We came over. We hung out for a little bit. Shirley is getting... Oh, it's actually also midnight, so we should probably go ahead and end the gathering. You know, we hung out for a little bit. Wait, that didn't count as knitting? We did knit on our rocking chair. What? We did knit on a rocking chair, but it didn't count, I guess. But we should probably get going. It is 12.30 in the morning. But I guess, you know what? We should also give Gertie an apartment key. Why not? We can let Gertie come and hang out if she wants to. I don't mind seeing Gertie hang out. Let's go ahead. We'll quickly give Gertie a hug before we leave and then we'll head back to our apartment because we need to take care of our needs real bad all right back to our apartment we really need to take care of our needs i'm gonna go ahead and have shirley use the restroom she also needs to clean that litter box because guinevere has been busy it seems guinevere is over here just playing with the yarn she loves playing with the yarn I tried to get my cat interested in playing with yarn and she just kind of looked at me like what do you expect me to do with that and why are you tossing yarn in front of my face my cat is definitely much more interested in my headphone cord than yarn there we go a nice big plate of macaroni and cheese at two o'clock in the morning i feel like that is a very fitting college student thing to be doing for surely right now oh we probably shouldn't but let's give a little bit of macaroni and cheese to guinevere i mean it's the sims you should not give your cat macaroni and cheese in real life but a little bit in the sims is perfectly fine i think that shirley is going to be way too exhausted to do any homework but she's going to finish up her meal she's going to be going to bed at like four o'clock in the morning that's okay i'll <laughs> finish up go to sleep i still can't believe we got gypped on this part of the aspiration it just says to knit on a rocking chair Oh, hold up. Oh boy. Ulysses would like to purchase the medium hanger for succulent in a round pot on Plopsy. If you agree to the sale, then find the medium hanger in the inventory and ship it to send it off to its new forever home. Oh my gosh, someone actually bought something. So we just go here and we're going to ship on Plopsy. Wait, Shirley went to bed at three o'clock in the morning and she's already up at 8 a.m and sure why not but there we go shirley has made her first ever sale on plopsy it says this sim made a sale on plopsy having an internet stranger buy your stuff is surprisingly validating keep it up good job shirley but for barely getting any sleep at all she is in a fairly good mood so we should probably start working on her homework she has classes tomorrow Oh, she's going to have classes. So that is very exciting. Her first day of class. She's going to be taking the right expectations tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we should definitely make sure that she doesn't just stay up till four o'clock in the morning again. That probably wasn't the best idea. We have had mail delivered. What did we get in the mail? Is it bills? We just moved in. I really hope that it's not bills because that would be a little bit depressing. We just moved in. We just started university. Are we already getting bills? Oh no, okay. It's actually our it's actually our acceptance letter. So she had checked on the computer about university, but now we actually got our physical acceptance letter and our scholarships, which she did get all of. Shirley got, I think she got, yeah, she got the Evergreen Harbor Resident Scholarship. She got the Education for All Scholarship and she got the Future Star Scholarship. Which reminds me, I forgot to go over her skills. I gave her a little bit of skills. I had given her knitting level two and then she raised it up to five already. She also has a tiny bit of cooking skills. I don't know when she got fitness, but apparently she has a little bit of fitness skill. She has a little bit of painting and piano skill. And of course, writing has always been one of Shirley's biggest passions. Ooh, I also realized this laptop has the sticker of the enemy on it. So I think I need to change that. There we go. Much better. Much better because she is going to Brightchester. She is not going to Foxbury. Brightchester students. You're listening to spooky music, Shirley. That's great. 
I don't want to get copyright strike though, so I'm gonna have that turned off. I mean, that's definitely a mood for sure. It is currently August, but I am already also thinking about Halloween. I'm already thinking about Christmas because that's the kind of person that I am. I just get very excited about all the holidays. I love whenever there's any kind of holiday that is impending. Oh my gosh. Look at Guinevere over here, just playing with her ball of yarn. Oh my gosh, the animation for this is so cute. Oh, I love that they added this into the game. That's just so cute. That makes me so happy. Shirley actually has finished up all her homework. She is all ready for university tomorrow. We were gonna give Guinevere a little love since she is a little bit lonely, you know all by herself without Gertie for the first time. I'm sure that she's certainly feeling it. But I think with that, Shirley is in a pretty good spot. I still have to figure out why she didn't get credit for knitting on the rocking chair. I might have to look into that because we should have gotten credit for that. We definitely were knitting on the rocking chair. But while Shirley enjoys some delicious applesauce over here, I am going to end this part right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different from my usual like crazy 100 baby challenge chaos. I just wanted to do something that was a little bit more chill with the nifty knitting pack. So if you liked this part, what is it Guinevere? You singing us a little song over there? With that, I'm going to end this part right here. If you liked this part, go ahead and give it a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys are getting up to lately in The Sim. Oh, Gertie's here. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.